Big debate tonight, and there will be one absent podium. Actually, we'll, we'll remove it from the stage. Today, I am suspending my campaign for the presidency. Uh, a lot of people were thinking, you know, John Huntsman might have a chance to show what he could do. On the other hand, there are many who said the writing was on the wall. He seems like a nice guy. Well, and he was very nasty. He was very nasty to Governor Romney. It is now time for our party to unite around the candidate best equipped to defeat Barack Obama. I believe that candidate is Governor Mitt Romney. This morning, Santorum commenting on the endorsement of John Huntsman of Mitt Romney. And he's basically dissing it all as one moderate throwing his support behind another moderate and one of those moderates bailing. Moderates are backing moderates. A moderate, moderate, solid moderate. You're supposed to get the talking point there that they're moderates, moderates, yeah. moderates. There's no better way to celebrate uh, Dr. King than to do something on behalf of others. And is Martin Luther King's dream being hijacked by big government? In just a few hours, the rest of the candidates will participate in their 16th, yes, 16th debate. And it could be make or break for Mitt Romney. And tonight is make or break for Rick Santorum. Mitt Romney has to take on the recent attacks against Bain Capital. They have to treat him like a presidential candidate. Yeah, you leave yeah. the toilet seat up. I mean, all season long, Mitt Romney's been playing like Aaron Rodgers. I really think the uh, Fox News debate tonight really is a play off game. If one of those two put in an Eli Manning performance, who knows? There is a candidate that can beat Obama in a debate. And what is his name? I don't know. It's Tim Tebow. No. <laughs> Patriots crushed Tim Tebow time in the Broncos 45 to 10. So I guess God okay. is not a Broncos fan.